zombie villages. And I'm not talking about a village with a zombie in it, but actual zombie village, infinite mine shafts, and a double blaze spawner is just some of the things that this seed will blow your mind with. Hey there, guys. Skippy here. Faroop Skippy Six Gaming, guys, coming to you from New Seed Showcase for MCPE Bedrock and all of those versions, guys. This one is so cool, guys. This seed was founded by Tibe Witsenbor, and he found this zombie village seed. I'm not familiar. I have not seen. If it is a game feature where they make zombie villages, then I haven't seen one before. This is the first time I've seen it. The actual village looks like, you know, zombie village, like a zombie village. And what could only probably be an infinite mine shaft? We'll take a look at it and find out. The seed is on the screen. So uh, what we're gonna do is load up this uh, seed, and uh, we will get ready to go, guys. For this one here, let's go for 334 likes if you are one of those dudes don't forget to hit me up so uh let's do it guys we're gonna look at the map this map is pretty useless there's one village on it nothing too uh, you know exciting and yeah so when we're gonna go we're gonna go look up and we're gonna look in all the directions so you're gonna come you're gonna spawn right around here 127 so what we're gonna do is actually head down here Let's make sure we're looking in the right way. You're gonna see this kind of weird Mesa Bryce forming, looking good. You know what, Mesa Bryce is already pretty rare, uh, as everybody knows. Let's keep going down this uh, river of love. You can see really cool generations with the Mesa biome, and there's a small village right here. This is not the mainstay of your excitement. This is only just a, yeah, a little something something. Let's go check out the blacksmith right here. But a really cool kind of church type area. That's really cool, let's go down here. And let's see what's in here. Whoa, nether portal right from the beginning. Definitely more obsidian than you need to make a nether portal. So let's go up here and let's keep going. It's kind of a weird one there. And then let's keep following this river down. We're going to keep following this river not too far away. And you guys are going to start seeing something super cool. This village is massive. Massive, massive, massive. A huge village right here with crazy mesa biome around it with huge mine shafts. I'm going to show them to you. You can see the mine shafts are filling this entire mountain. And we have a crazy, at least, I think it's a triple village if you ask me. Uh, maybe just a double. But what you can see here is, guys, zombie houses. I'm telling you, if this is a feature, these, I didn't make any of this. These spider webs, the cobble here. All of this stuff, I, I'm i not familiar with it. If someone's going to be like, oh, Skippy, they added that in 1.2, whatever it is, I'll tell you right now, I have never seen it before, but you can see it even adds it all around it. There's cobwebs all around it, and this mine goes right here. So uh, if you want to feel good about it, watch this. We're going to show you something even more awesome. They're not here right now because I already came, but when I first entered this village, it actually was filled with zombie villagers. Zombie villagers inside all of these houses. We got these weird mine shafts. So what does everybody want to know is what's underneath it. Guys, you are going to see something super cool. Let's do a quick uh, x-ray. A quick x-ray right here. Let's just drink some potions. We're going to make this x-ray hype right now. Let's go like this. And you're going to see some crazy stuff, guys. Down there, huge mine shaft right underneath it. This one isn't as crazy. I had this one mistaken for the other one. And the, and the x-ray is not doing as good as I want, but there is a very large mine shaft over there going all the way up into the Mesa Mountains that surround. So what are we going to do instead? Let's, uh, let's switch our views and let's get out of here. Okay, so now that we have this cool zombie village, which like I said, I've never seen before. There's a zombie villager right in there. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what it is. There's cobwebs in there. Again, if this is a feature, I have never, ever seen one generate naturally. So what we are going to do at this point is just show you the other cool thing. And I know redstoney people and people that like to make farms are going to love this. But if you were to make... If you were to make your nether portal right here, look at this, guys. I do this on every seed showcase right in front, staring at a huge nether fortress. So now everybody's like, oh, wow, how cool is that? Well, you want to know how cool it is? There is a double blaze spawner. So now in order for a spawner to be double, look at this cool, huge nether fortress right in front. In order for a blaze spawner to be double, they have to be within a certain block distance of each other. You can see right here, this counts as a double blaze spawner. So what I would say is in order for 
a spawner to be a double officially, whether it's a zombie, a skeleton, or anything, you have to be able to keep them both activated at the same time. And that means you have to be within 16 blocks. So assuming that when you go in the middle of them, you have less than 16 blocks to each one, then what you have is a double. I think uh, what I want to do is likely uh, take a screenshot of that for uh, maybe the thumbnail because that's really rare, guys. You do not see too many of those. Let's get out of here and show you the really, really, really cool end portal area. So let's get out of here. We're going to go on a little walk. It is does have some beautiful generations, this world, actually, if you ask me. Uh, we're going to go to negative 13 50 negative 15 so let's just go up here i think uh we have to go down so we have to go this way so we'll just talk about it anyway it's not that far negative 13 negative whatever so negative 13 negative 15 so once we get to negative 15 we'll just keep going down but you can see there's cool generations in this world weird little pocket forest crevices things like that you know what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna time lapse And here we are, guys, pulling up on where the end portal is. So the end portal is right here, guys. Let's just do a little night vision. You can see the ocean around. I guess it's not really showing as much. So, uh, yeah, it's right here somewhere. Uh, let's let's do this. 1350. We'll go up a little bit more. And let's do it. So first things first, let's show you this. I feel like this is an infinite mine shaft. I feel like it could possibly be. I feel like there's a glitch going on recently about this. Uh, but take a look at this. We'll get a better view of it, but basically, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go a little higher up. Let's do this. Let's go right here. And then let's go deeper down. We're going to see a little deeper down. Now let's try it. But you can see there is a huge mine shaft here. Huge mine shaft running in. Look at that. Two chests right in the thing. If you go over there, believe me, guys, this whole area is literally littered with mine shafts. What could possibly be an infinite one? This game is really weird in the sense that sometimes when I x ray, like right before I did this video, I x rayed so I knew what I was going to show people. You know what I mean? And for some reason, it showed way more stuff. But as you can see, there, this mine shaft slash thing goes all the way around. Let's Let's do this. Let's go really deep. And let's try it again believe me you just test it out and you guys will see this thing here is uh yeah it's pretty cool if i'm just gonna get out of here let's let's switch our points of view yeah it's really weird with that x-ray glitch right there that we use but either way there is i'm gonna tell you right now we have our look at the coordinates at the top this is gonna be where your uh end portal is right here nice and clear and empty and believe me guys there is infinite mine shafts around here um the glitch isn't working as good i don't know why it does that sometimes so either way you guys got it i think we'll probably save everybody some more time and show you basically just how huge this area is look look the spawner right there and there you go guys don't forget to smash that like don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for uh yeah cool tutorials let's plays seed showcases news updates and things like that thanks a lot for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one